1.4, that's chapter one, exercise four of our book, covers a lot of information. Usually more information than I teach at once. So I'm gonna break this into a bunch of videos, guys. So first one we got is big idea number one, and what we're gonna talk about is some vocabulary. Um, I've got the, some words you need to know, and they are even, odd, and consecutive. So let's look at those. First word, even. What does it mean to be an even number? Well, a math teacher is going to give you the technical math definition. We're going to say that if it's an even number, it's divisible by two. But considering y'all aren't math teachers yet, that probably doesn't mean a whole lot to you. So let's say it in English. Any number that's divisible by two ends in zero, two, four, six, or eight. Ends in zero, two, four, six, or eight. I want to emphasize the fact that it ends in that because a lot of y'all, when you get in a muddle about even numbers, it's because you don't know where to look. We're going to look right at the end, right at what I call the butt of the number. So let's take a look. Here's a question um, that you might see. You're going to see something similar to this in your book. It says, which of the numbers in this list are even? Taking a look at the number 105, I look right at his final digit, right at his butt. And that is not a 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. And so this is not an even number. Uh, 732 ends in 2. Hey, that's on our list. That's an even number. 61 ends in 1. Not on our list. Therefore, he is definitely not even. Take a look at this big long number. Don't get distracted. Just look at the butt, please. There you go. That's an eight. Eight is an even number, and therefore this entire thing is even. Great. Now here's the one that confuses everybody. 20. Nobody can tell me if it's even or if it's odd. Don't get lost, guys. Zero does indeed signal that we have an even number, and so 20 is definitely even. Finally, let's wrap this up with a number that's obviously odd. Ends in a seven, he's an odd, not an even. Now, I just used the word odd. Haven't even told you what it means yet, so that's a good transition. Let's go right into what it means to be odd. Well, evens and odds are opposites, so basically the deal is, if you're not even, you're odd. So, <laughs> Some of us are odd, especially math teachers. Y'all will catch on to that real quick. But as far as what it means to be an odd number, it means you're not divisible by two. I know what you're thinking. That's not a helpful definition, Kate. Okay, so practically what does that mean to us? That means you end in one, three, five, seven, or nine, you end in one, three, five, seven, or nine. And again, remember guys, it's just the end we care about, it's just the butt of the number. So, 685 ends in five, that's on our list, that's an odd. Very nice, I didn't even read the question to you guys. Which of the numbers in this list are odd? Y'all probably already know how to read, but there you go, I hooked you up. Okay, take a look at 54, 54 ends in, in four, which is even, and so this is not an odd number. It can't be both. 802 ends in two. Again, even. You can't be both. 400. Everybody tries to tell me this one's odd, but guys, zero is an even number, and so we're going to cross him out. We need some odds. Here we go. This guy ends in a one. A thousand and thirty-one is definitely odd. And here we have somebody who ends in a 7. And so 6,047 is an odd number. Very nice. Pretty easy. Even or odd. Okay. One more term that you're going to see 
in uh, section 1.4 is the word consecutive. Big, long word. Uh, a lot of people don't know what it means, but again, it's really easy. That's the good news. So, what does it mean to be consecutive? Well, consecutive in math means the same thing that consecutive in the world means, okay? Consecutive just means the very next thing, the next number. One after the other, in order, guys. Okay. So, Here's one way they might try to con confuse you. We'll see this a lot as we, when we start reaching the algebra section where we talk about consecutive integers. Don't panic, I'm not doing algebra yet, guys. But it says what are the next three consecutive integers after 37? Don't panic about the word integers. For now, um, we're just gonna think about integers as counting numbers. Later, we'll learn a little bit more about them, uh, that they include some numbers we don't usually count with. But for now, don't panic about that. When I say the next three consecutive integers after 37, all I'm saying is, what are the next numbers, guys? Count for me. So 37, what comes after 37? Well, 38, 39, 40. So there's just an example of me trying to confuse you using some big words. All I'm asking you to do is count. Pretty simple. Um, only way I could make this problem more complicated is throw in some additional information. So here's an example. It says, what are the next three consecutive even integers after 42? So again, I'm asking you to go in a row, but I only want to hear about the even ones. So. If I were just to count after 42, I would get 43, 44, 45, 46, and so on, but that's not what we want. We only want the even ones. So, 40, oh, 42 is where I started, isn't it? So, next number after 42 that's even is two, one, two away, and that's 44. We're gonna cross off these odd numbers. So we have 44, 46. We wouldn't want 47, but we sure do want 48. So just in case I wasn't clear, what are the next three consecutive even integers after 42? They are 44, 46, and 48. Hope that made sense. Okay, so last one here. Very similar to the other one, but instead of even, they ask us what are the next three consecutive odd integers after 67. So again, just give me the odds. I don't want 68, I do want 69. 70's out, but I want 71. And after that, the next consecutive odd integer is 73. Pretty simple, but we're gonna see lots of great applications of it later. Okay, you've heard me say it before, I'm gonna say it again. You're not gonna know how to do this until you practice it. It is not enough to just watch me do it. So, no book work for now, guys, because uh, exercise four in chapter one's got a lot packed into it that we've gotta learn. But for now, to practice what we learned about even, odd, and consecutive numbers, go ahead, go on to Quizlet in my math class and choose uh, set 1.4a, big idea one, odd, even, or consecutive numbers. Okay. So, try it in learn mode. Learn. No reason to race with this. This isn't a memory game. Learn is sufficient. Make sure you have it down. Probably won't have to practice it too long. It's not too hard. And join me in the next video. We'll keep talking about section four.